Alright guys, I Dizzy HD here from On The Ball Gaming and um, I'm going to try and make this episode as quick as I can because I've recorded this episode like three times now and it keeps going over like 15 minutes long so I'm going to be I'm gonna be talking really fucking quickly in this episode or whatever the fuck you call it, this video um, basically this is a new series I'm doing where I build um, the highest rated possible teams from a certain league or nation and then I build an alternative 11 um, from the same league or nation that I, ma like, that I made and uh, basically just see which one plays better and um, so today I'm doing the Serie A and this is the best possible Serie A team you can make with gold players so basically I'm only going to be using gold players as well you know I don't have that much coins to buy team of the seasons or anything so um, this is the best possible Serie A team you can make as you can see you've got Buffon in net, Barzagli, Chiellini and Benatia at the back three uh, Vidal and Pirlo in the holding mid roles uh, Francesco Totti with 51 pace on the left wing Jesus Christ and Kondreva on the right um, we have Tevez, who's actually injured for some reason, um, in attack of mid. And Mario Gomez up front with uh, Dean Natale. And um, basically, uh, this team was absolute shit. Uh, well, in all fairness, the defence was really good. Barzagli's an absolute rock. He's a hidden gem in this game if you haven't used him. Benatti was good. Chiellini was good. Buffon was good. The two old mids were good. But the rest of the team was absolute shit. In fairness to Toddy, he actually was good on the ball and his shots are good and his passing are good, but um, he, uh, he just has no pace and if you're playing left mid, you really do need pace, especially in the 3 4 2 um, And then right mid as well, we had Kondreva, who just he just really wasn't that good. He was non-existent and he was just absolute shit. Uh, Tevez was really bad. Di Natale was really bad. You know, he's not even that fast. He's just really weak as well and he's just shit. And then Gomez is just an absolute waste of space. And um, yeah, so that's the first, that's the highest rated team. Uh, I'm gonna take us on to the sweaty team now. Um, and really, guys, I had a lot more fun playing with that team. To be honest, the sweaty team. Um, this is it here. Um, obviously, I went for a three-five-two there because I couldn't. It wouldn't be fair if I made a different formation. If um, like with, if I am comparing the teams because I don't actually like playing a three-five-two myself. But um. I don't know, the defence in this team wasn't great to be honest, Casares was a standout player um, out of the back three, uh, Agbona was a bit non-existent and Juan Jesus' positioning wasn't great to be honest, uh, Marchetti was a good goalkeeper though, um, so I don't know who I'm going to pick between him and Mar him and Buffon, um, De Rossi was decent, Pogba was decent and the rest of the team was really good to be honest, El Shiraoi and Quadrado are two of my favourite wingers in the game, Balotelli and Abarbo are two of my favourite strikers in the game. And uh, Hamsik is just an absolute beast in the attacking mid. As you see, he's six foot and he has high attacking work rate with 74 heading. So he's going to get into the box for the crosses and he's going to be a real threat in the air as well as like at the edge of the box and stuff. And, um, you know, just to have him there, he just, you know, is a really good. So um, with the highest rated team, I actually played, I think it was eight games and I won five and lost three. So that's not good. And um, with this team, I played five games and I won four and lost one. So, um, you know, I didn't have to play any more games to realise uh, which team was better. Um, and basically what's going to happen now, guys, is I'm going to take us over to a new squad builder where I'm going to build the best 11 um, from the two teams. So basically, in my opinion, the best team um, in game wise um, in terms of a tree, in like when, if you want to build a 3-5-2 Serie A team. So um, I'll be back in a second uh, to show you that. So guys, this is the best 11 from the two teams that I was playing with. Um, I actually haven't even played a game with the best 11. I'm just going to show you, the, uh, you know, the best players for each position. Um, as you can see, I've gone for Buffon in there, and it was a tough one um, between uh, him and Marchetti. But I went for Buffon because, uh, I don't know, he just seemed more reliable in goal, and uh, Marchetti let in more goals. So um, that was the big factor in why I chose Buffon. Uh, Chiellini... Um, absolute solid there on the left on the left centre back. You know he was, he was able to keep up with the wingers down um, on the wings, and his tackling's brilliant. And um, yeah, he's a really good player. Barzagli is probably I know it sounds stupid, guys, because Barzagli is never used in any teams. But Barzagli is probably my favourite centre back in this game. He's just so good. Like I came up against two Ibrahimoviches, and um, Barzagli just like killed Ibrahimovic. Really, literally, like killed him. Um, you know, in the air and on the ground and stuff. Uh, Casares is like just like having a right back there. He gets back well. He's able to keep up with the wingers. His tackling's really good. And um, yeah, so a full uh, Juventus um, backline, um, which tells you something. And also two Juventus holding mids here. Uh, I went for Pirlo, guys, because Pirlo's he's just I don't know. He's a bit OP to be honest. I know he's an 86 rated player, 
But as you can see, I've got a powerhouse trait on him, and um, his tackling is really good, guys, in midfield. He just seems to get around and nip in and get the ball and uh, play lovely passes up the, up the pitch. Like, his passing is just inch perfect. And um, uh, if he was to play alongside Pogba, who's just an absolute tank in this game, he's just like a complete midfielder going forward, dropping back, just, you know, bossing the midfield, and he's just an absolute god in this game, guys. Um, the wingers then, El Sharawe and Quadrado, uh, probably my two favourite wingers in the game. Uh, El Sharawe, um, I always seem to score nice goals with him. Uh, I only actually scored two goals in this team with him, and one of them was actually a header from a, a free kick that I got my ha uh, about the halfway line. I crossed the ball in, and El Sharawe scored a brilliant header. But um, the other goal was a bit of a skill run, so you'll see that in the clips at the end. Um, Hamshik, as I told you before, he gets in the box for the headers and stuff, and uh, you know his um, he scored three goals, got three assists in five games, which is really good at return for a cam. Quadrado, you can abuse down that right mid, and with Balotelli and Barbo in the box for his crosses, and um, it's just fucking ridiculous, really. It really is like, um, and Balotelli uh, is uh, four goals and two assists. Um, I would have thought he would have got more, but um, you know I played with him in a lot of teams, and he's just an absolute god. The barrel then as well. I have him untradeable in this team, and this team, guys, is just it's just sweat like up front, and um, a bit of quality in the back line, and um, it's a really good team. I probably would play with this team in Division One, and um, I'd be confident enough to do well in Division One with this team, and um, so yeah, that's about it for today, guys. I'll be doing the League of BBVA next, um, and basically you're gonna see a few clips of the best goals I got with the two teams. And um, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this episode. Subscribe to see the next episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. Like us on Facebook. Um, the link will be in the description. And goodbye.